Hey guys, I know this video is pretty late. Well, actually, I just completely skipped last week's video. I was pretty busy. I had family come in and I was dog sitting for a friend. So I didn't really have time to squeeze in a tutorial, let alone trying to find the time to even just film it. Hopefully this makes up for it. I was thinking of posting two videos this week, but I was just like, eh. I think I'll just post a good tutorial and hopefully it'll make up for not posting last weekend. I'm actually super excited because I did not expect it to turn out this way and I really love it actually. It's probably my favorite one so far just because I'm such a fan of pink. I mean the lipstick I'm wearing is a little bit more red but it's still gorgeous. I love it so much and I'm super glad that I did this. I actually pulled out this bad boy. I bought this um, pretty soon after it released at Ulta. Um, I actually happened to snag the last one. It was super attracted to the pink and reds, so I was like, I really need to do that, but I, I couldn't think of anything to do. But I, I knew that I wanted to create like a full look with it, and I wasn't entirely sure. So today it was perfect because I wanted some bright pink on my eyes and. It just worked out perfectly so I ended up using that palette as well as another one of her shadows um, to add some shimmer on my lids and then I pulled out a metallic lip by Colourpop. I was actually afraid that it wouldn't look very good with the already bold eyes but I was like you know what YOLO I can wear whatever I want and, and so it actually turned out to be a, a lot prettier than I expected so I'm super excited about that and I hope you guys can find something useful and fun with this look. Um, you guys could even do it with a different color. You could just pull it off with purple or blue, green, whatever the heck floats your boat. Yeah, I'm also running out of ideas. I have a few, like, in my head. I have some people that have suggested some things to me and I'm storing them for later. Um, but yeah. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I'm thinking of maybe doing a review demo, review slash demo on some new makeup that I bought. Kind of change up the channel a bit instead of just having tutorials. So um, I also have a huge ColourPop haul. Well, it's not that big, but I did buy a good number of their new glosses that they came out with and so maybe I'll do like a, like a first impression and swatch thing, I don't know. I'm obsessed with Colourpop as you guys have probably noticed throughout my videos. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to do this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I just bought this, so this is my first time trying it out. I might do a review on it, I don't know. You guys can let me know. My go-to for a luminous foundation is usually the L'Oreal Lumi foundation, but I wanted to try this one out and it looks pretty good so far. I kinda did a good job picking my color, didn't I? And this is an oldie but goodie. I'm using my Lancome Long Wear Concealer. I'm not using very much since I'm going to put other concealer on top of it. So that's just going right on my dark circles. And I decided to try out the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, I tried their foundation before and I really loved it, but I don't have one right now. And then they came out with this concealer and I was like, hey, maybe I'll love this one. And I do. I picked um, a shade that's pretty close to my skin color. I'm not using it to highlight, so... What I am using for a highlight is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. That one is a little bit lighter than my skin. And as usual, I'm putting that under my eyes. Bridge my nose, forehead, and chin. I just realized I'm using a whole bunch of new products today. Um, the sponges that you see me using here are also new. They're by Ulta.
And although I have already used it a few times to test it out, this is the ColourPop Sculpting Sticks in New Renaissance. I'm using it to bronze my face, and it's a little bit weird, but um, I just use it like a pen, I guess, and draw in where I would usually put my contour. And um, I did use a sponge to blend it out here, but I think I prefer using a brush because um, it kind of left it looking a little bit patchy. I don't know if it was a sponge or maybe I just wasn't blending it right, but um, in the future, I'm probably just gonna stick to blending it out with a brush. And to set it, I'm using my Lancome Star Bronzer which has little gold reflex in it, which I really like. So I took a pretty dense Morphe brush to put that right over where I previously contoured. And contouring my nose has quickly become one of my favorite things about contouring. I don't know, I just, I just like seeing my nose slim down <laughs> some more. I mean, wouldn't we all? But I mean, like if you have a smaller nose, then I guess, I don't know. God graced you. <laughs> then I decided to prime my eyes for the tons of shadow I'm going to be putting on with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. <laughs> this is My Baby, the star of the show, Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my god, look at those colors. <sighs> For my transition, I'm using the shade Raw Sienna. It's in the bottom left corner. It is one of the orange shades in there. And then right after that, we're just jumping right into Love Letter, which is a vibrant pink. That is basically all you're gonna see in this look. I'm concentrating that in the outer corner, blending it into the crease and inner corner, and then I'm also blending outward into kind of a wing. After blending all that out, I took Venetian Red, which looks just like Love Letter, except it has shimmer in it. Then I concentrated that in the outer corner. And be careful with these kinds of colors, because if you screw up, girl, you just added five more minutes to your makeup routine. <laughs> no, but really, be careful. <laughs> After blending all that out, I took Bon Fresco. I hope I said that correctly. It is kind of a pale lavenderish pink, and I put that in the inner half of my lids. And this, um, these four shadows are all Anastasia shadows. I got them from Sephora because you can like make your own palette or whatever. But that sparkly shade is Pink Champagne. I'm just adding some sparkle to the lid. And if I had decided to show you guys the clips for the winged liner, man, like it turned out way thicker than I expected it to be. This is the Too Faced sketch marker in black, and then I put Love Letter on my bottom lash line to tie the look together. Then for my inner corner highlight and under my brows, I took Vermeer from that palette. It looks a little bit like pink champagne. It's a very light pink silver shadow. Then I went in with my Better Than Sex Mascara and then my Velvet to Blush by Ulta. The shade is Melrose. For a highlight, I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I thought it would add a good gold effect on the cheeks. It's a little bit more subdued than the um, Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And despite how many pairs of lashes I have, I gravitated towards my absolute favorite pair right now. They're in the style Clever by Creative Soul Cosmetics. And then I did end up going in with Champagne Pop to add even more highlight because you can never go wrong. And after having a mini dance session, I used the ColourPop Ultra Metallic Lip in 3-Way. Such a beautiful color, I think it just totally tied the look together. 
I mean, look at it. It's got like little gold reflex. It's pretty freaking amazing. Um, here is a close up, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to leave comments and subscribe and stuff. This bad boy and I bought this <laughs> if you guys want to learn how to do this look then please keep watching and thank you for watching because it got awkward there if you aren't subscribed already and you like my stuff then please hit that button and yeah <laughs>